Hi, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at MetaHuman for Unreal Engine. Let's dive right in. Hello. Uh... If, like me, you struggle with character art and character design, then MetaHumans is definitely going to be for you. So, what is MetaHuman? I've actually included a link in the description that you can click on and take a look for yourself and digest it in your own time. But as a snapshot, MetaHuman Creator is going to be a new tool that's going to allow artists and developers to create really high quality photorealistic rigged humans, complete with hair, clothing, and all within a matter of minutes. And what's neat about this is Unreal have actually released a couple of samples that we can download and import into the editor and have a play around with. And we're going to actually use Live Link to record our own facial features and have them projected onto our digital MetaHumans. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get our IP address. Uh, so to get that, if you don't know, you can go down to your little magnifying glass in the corner and type CMD, which is going to bring up your command prompt. And then from there, you want to type IP config and hit enter. And then you're going to be looking for the IPv4 address, which is this one just here. So the first thing you want to do is download the Live Link Face app from the Apple App Store, which looks like this. It's like a, a picture of a head with some polygons in it and it says for Unreal Engine, go ahead and download that one. And then once it's installed, open it up. Okay, so to get this all set up, so we're ready to communicate with Unreal, go ahead and click on the cog. And then at the top, we'll go ahead and click on Live Link. And we'll, you can set your subject name here to whatever you need it to be. And then under targets, you can add target and enter your IP address in this box here. And then go back. And then once that's all connected, just make sure you've got stream head rotation marked as on and swipe down to get rid of that. Now let's jump into Unreal and look how we can connect the live link to our MetaHuman. Then you want to open up the Epic Games application interface here and go to the Marketplace tab and do a search for MetaHumans. I'm going to bring up uh, this window here. You can get an it says external link. You can click on there. It's going to open up in your browser. And then from there, you can download it. And then once it's there, you can go and create a project. I've already created my project, so I'm going to go ahead and double click to open it. Then once the project opens up, you're going to be presented with this level here, this scene. Uh, and I should warn you that this is very resource intensive. And in a minute, we're going to hear my PC screaming out for mercy. Um, and I'm going to change, I've, I've already changed the scalability settings here down to medium, um, just so it, it works a bit better. Um, you can see the quality of the, the characters, the, the MetaHumans are absolutely stunning. I can't wait for this tool to be available and then have the ability just to create humans quickly and easily with all the artistic freedom to create whatever you want in a matter of minutes. What an awesome tool. And this particular example ships with female character here and then somewhere lurking in the shadows back here, we have this guy, which is a, another MetaHuman sample. Hello. And what I want to show you is how we can use the Live Link Face application for our, our, my iPad, and you can use it to actually record on straight onto these characters. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a couple of things just to get this all ready. And if I was to hit play now, it'd run through a sequence which is uh, insanely resource heavy. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to go to the sequence. Uh, I don't want to play the sequence when I hit play. I'm just going to choose and uh, the TTBL MetaHuman004, just for this one. Uh, and we're going to turn off our female character. We don't want her when we run the game for a second. We're going to turn that one off by clicking on the actor hidden in game box. And we're going to go to our, our MetaHuman dude. And we're going to move him forward like so. Hair is so awesome. That is ever so slightly freaky. So from here, now you want to have your Live Link Face app open and tr kind of tracking your face. And under the default tab, under the details section, we're going to drop, change this drop down to whatever you called your iPad. And we also want to track the head as well, like so. So we go ahead and tick that box. Now, when I go ahead and play this, it's going to jump into the scene and start tracking me. Hello. And now you can see here it's tracking my head and it's also tracking my mouth. Uh, and my eyeballs. Uh, if we go ahead and click on there and then press the F11, we'll go full screen and we'll zoom in 
to our face. As you can see, it's capturing all my speech and it's sending that feed straight into Unreal and it's applying it straight onto our MetaHuman. Hello! Let's do some face acting. Let's go for angry. <laughs> Let's go for scared. Woo! <laughs> but the quality of these MetaHumans is outstanding. Uh, I can't wait to see just how quickly it was able to put these results together. Um, but you can see it goes into some great detail. It's all the hair is great. Let's see if you can see my hair swish. Ooh. I look beautiful. I look amazing. My meta human self. And as you can hear, it's quite resource intensive. <laughs> my PC may catch fire any minute. But the detail in the textures is great. The fabric on the jumper looks amazing. Uh, and the skin quality is really nice. What a, what a great model. I think my favourite bit has to, def has to definitely be the hair. So as a Unity developer, what do I think? Well, to be honest, my, I'm kind of mind blown just how easy it was to get this. My PC's going again. Just to get this up and running, just the ability to use this iPad, connect it to Unreal and have it go straight onto my um, digital avatar here. That process was really quick and easy and I wish Unity had something similar, so kind of jealous. In my opinion, MetaHuman is really cool and it's certainly going to speed up my character workflow and enable me to get realistic characters with ease. I can't wait for it to become a tool and release. And if you haven't done so, I would definitely recommend downloading Unreal and taking a look at the MetaHuman project. It's all free and seeing what it's all about for yourself. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.